thought I wasn't coming to see you, didn't you? Yo, I am a mess today. I've got shorts on. Y'all wanna know how hot it is in Georgia? We got shorts on. But if you're just watching the replay, make sure that you follow and not just like. That way when I have a new video or I go live, um, you will uh, get a notice on it. But when you come on, I hope I've got the chat on that I haven't turned it off. Make sure you say hey, tell me where you are. I'm sure most of you are probably out doing things. I wasn't able to have one last night, so I thought I'd make up for it right now. I'm home alone. It never happens. It's been super nice, and I was just, I mean, I'm not kidding you. Hey, y'all have not taken a shower today. Haven't done anything. Thank you. Hey, 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 Lynn. Lynn, you're from Pensacola, right? I'm trying to learn where everybody's from. You should say in it. So, hey, Mahala. Mahala. Um, but, y'all, I'm not sick. I know I sound horrible, but my sinuses are draining. Whenever Georgia does this, where we have like a couple of weeks where at night it'll get 40, then it'll go back to now it's back 78, 80. My sinuses drain and it just makes me sound worse. And I and normally I just sound terrible, but yesterday I did have a really bad headache. Hello, sorry you weren't feeling so good. No, I'm all right. Hey, Patricia from Kentucky. All right. Hey, Miss Jane. Um, I just sounded like crud and felt like crud because my head hurt. Nothing else hurts. It's just sinus pressure. I just can't take it when it goes hot, cold, hot, cold. Hey, Cynthia, where are you from? All right, Darlington, Florida. You did good, girl. All right, thank you so much. Um, I was sitting here, y'all, I have my phone plugged up. It was only on 30%, and you know, the other night I had malfunctions with it. I actually had a hundred percent, but I've been sitting in bed either watching Criminal Minds, um, a couple of Bruce Willis movies a while ago, or reading. I just, nobody's here, so it's been super nice. It just kind of, you know, I can kind of like, you know, I got all my little stuff done this morning that I wanted to do. And uh, I actually got bought, got me some fast food. I got a taco salad from Wendy's, which I must say was delicious. You know, it comes with a bowl of chili and tortilla shells. It was like awesome. All right. I got this little sign. Every now and again, if I'm at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, um, you know, Dollar Tree, you know, they don't really ever have any sales, but... Everything at Hobby Lobby when I was there last Monday were 50% um, off their wall hanging. So, and I looked everywhere on my tag. I know I just threw it on the floor, but normally their little, they have their price tags on it. I guarantee you I didn't pay very much for it. Probably maybe a dollar if it was on sale. I think maybe if I'm thinking back right, it was maybe like three dollars or something and it was 50% off so I only got it for like a dollar fifty something like that it wasn't very much the measurements on it I would say it's not even a foot long and probably only about six inches wide but it's distressed on both sides it's got a little tape residue and the staples from I guess that they're thinking you may have a craft where you would hang it this way but we're gonna do one that goes straight up and down and I'm not gonna work on the side that has that little residue but guess what I was able to pick up in there? And I don't know where they normally keep these things. They're like the Dollar Tree um, little stems, except they're already cut in half for you. And they're a lot longer. And they're like this birch wood that I just really love. And I, I, I watched a little video on how you can paint your stems to kind of look at this and you decoupage like a plain piece of napkin on it that gives you this like flaky kind of barky flaky thing that one night we'll try i need to try it myself i just watched it but they have this big roll and when i say roll they're all connected they're not connected with the wood part but they put like um felt or something on the back to actually i mean i guess probably just a way to sell them i don't I mean, I guess maybe you could do a project with them connected, but I wouldn't. And I'm seeing here that they come in different sizes. You got here, this one looks a little smaller. This one looks actually really small. Um, the about, I guess for decoration's sake, the ones on the outside look like they're probably about the biggest ones. The smaller 
you know, the more you get inside, the smaller they are. But I'm thinking I'm going to take this first kind of big one because I'm uh, doing something that, you know, I need my stem to be fairly, you know, big. And we may even do it below this. Y'all, I really don't want to hang this up as small as it is. I'm going to kind of put this same little thing back around it. That was a good way to keep it up. I have to tie it a little bit tighter, but um, because I'm thinking that this is so pretty that I'm going to want to put this piece of wood either surround it with something or find a way for it just to stand up and down. I thought about doing a big dowel uh, for straight up and down, but what we're going to put on it is really heavy, and so I probably will end up having it. Probably will have to be like some kind of hanging. Um, you know, or lean to, you know, like you put it up on a mantle or something. But let me get a little bit of this felt off. I'm scared on the edges. You'll be able to see it a little bit. Okay. Went into Walmart. Went over, y'all. They have this little section over there where I think it's like mini ornaments. I mean, you could put these on a regular size tree, but that's the only thing I can think because it says six mini ornaments. And there's like a little place in our Walmart that all their little mini ornaments, the ornaments you would put on, I guess, little tiny trees, um, are all kind of in a section together. And, and a part of this section, they have some little girl type colors. It has a lot, like you see how this has pink and it has like um, the little light blue, orange. It really has all the colors in it. So kind of like a little fairy colors is what I would think. Because when you get my Christmas bowls on my tree, even when you get colorful ones, never have pink in them. But these tend to have pink, um, rainbow, uh, different little ornaments, uh, unicorns, things like that. So, and they were six of these ornaments for $1.98. So, I got five of them. So, this is a $10 project plus whatever, you know, glue or whatever it is. So, it's not really like... So much cheap, but I guarantee you if you bought it somewhere, it would be a lot more. Hey, Mama. Okay, y'all probably been asking me questions and I've missed it. Our tent that has been up and down here in Missouri also has been beautiful here the last few days. Yes, I guess somebody from the outside would probably think our weather right now is beautiful, but you know I don't. I'm ready for it to get. I'm ready for it just to do one thing. If it's going to stay cold, I can, you know get my spray tan back on and my legs won't be quite so white or if it goes cold I can wear my pants all the time and um mama I have not spoken to my husband I take it from a couple of texts that I have received because you know I'm not watching football that Georgia lost or they're losing or it started at 3 30 so could it be over with by now I take it it probably is so I'm taking it they did not win so, yeah, I hadn't heard anything from him. So, it's probably a good thing he went to his friend's house and watched it. Um, hey, Mary Sue. Don't know it. Hello. Um, all right. Okay, they lost. They lost bad. Mm. So, probably I will not hear from him for a while. So, that's good. Uh, um, thank goodness he went somewhere else because... You know, I don't want to deal with all that because I could care less about football. I mean, I don't ever want them to lose, but now it determines our whole weekend around here. You really just can't talk to him for about an hour. Just don't make eye contact with him, and then he's fine after that. Okay, what we're going to do with all these is we're actually going to make a tree with our little light bulbs. That's why I've got so many. So if I've got five here, old math, five times six is what, 30? And they do come, you know, with like a cute little string. Now, my mom, and mama, you'll have to correct me this, you're on here. I have not dug anything out of my Christmas closet yet. This would be a great craft if you use these real bulbs. Because the thing is, is you're not going to use them to light them up. So, if you're back, because I think a few years ago, what, about 10 years ago, these bigger bulbs came back in style. You can buy them now every year. But what do you do the ones that you're not using anymore? Um, and they're really, and, and the real ones are bigger than this. I mean, this is pretty big. And they're heavy now. I don't know what they're made out of. It doesn't feel like any kind of, it's a hard, heavy plastic. If that's, it's almost like they're made out of some kind of resin. 
but um, they're really heavy. That's why I think after I make an entire tree out of them, that they would not hold up on the dowel. It would fall over. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut all the strings off of these. But like I said, Mom, I think a few years ago you gave me a bunch of these big ornaments. So once I start taking all my trees out, I would love to be able to make a really big one of these, like with old bulbs, because I don't put these bulbs, I don't put colored lights on my tree. I'm just a white tree. I like my ornaments to be colored. Long sprinkle. Thank you so much for sprinkling. Oh, she thanks you. Hey, from Aunt Peggy and Harry. Hey, Aunt Peggy. So I'm going to, each time I take these off, I've got to cut this little string off. These would be a really cute little project. And like I said, these things are, they're, they're, they've got some weight to them. They're not like a little cheapy ornament. They would make like a good craft. This is the only thing I really could think to make right now. I've got a couple ideas for some snowmen so far. I, I think I'm just going to just have to get into the Christmas. I need to got all the stuff out to make Mimi's Thanksgiving ring. Because I'm a little late on it and have not uh, done it yet. And I got a couple more things to do for uh, Thanksgiving. But soon we'll just start doing Christmas. Because I'm thinking by the time December, halfway through December gets here, we probably won't want to do Christmas decorations anymore. Alright, so it just may take me a minute to cut all these little doodads. Now... Each set comes with actually six different colors. So when I start my rows, I will probably, I'm not gonna try to do a specific pattern, but I at least want, I don't want bulbs trying not to, hopefully to work out where that none will touch each other that. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make them, if you think like your leaves on a tree come down, we're actually going to put them down this way instead of up. I mean, I don't think it would make sense going down. I mean, going up. So, uh, let's see here. And I'm missing one more. What color am I missing? Orange. Okay. All right. So, I've gotten two out. I don't know if I'll need all five sets. Because it looks like I'm not even going to be able to get six. Let's see. I was hoping I would get six. I'm not going to get six on the bottom row. If I did, it's going to hang off. And I think the smart thing to do here is kind of, sort of, get me a plan for what I want. Let's say I'm going to try not to let them touch. And and let's see what are we now? Pink. Okay. So we're no six and then five. We need another row. And I hope my camera where my comments are on my camera, y'all. I can't see it that well. So you tell me if you can see what I'm doing. I have not glued them down yet. And yes, I'm just going to hot glue them. Hopefully, hot as my glue gun gets, it'll stick to it. But so far, we've only used two packages. We did get the six on the bottom. Five. And then... I've got some plain ribbon. Because I don't, I tried to find ribbon that had all of these colors in it and either that one has too much of some color or not enough. And then my pink ribbon, I went and got some pink ribbon or looked through it and it just, I don't know if it just looks spring because I'm not ready for spring. So what I did was I just went with really neutral colors that had white in it to maybe bring out some of the white on the back. And instead of having a star, we're going to have like the little bow at the top. I'm doing, you could put a star on it. All right, so let's see. We're going to have, nope, we already started one. With, let's start one with pink. Pink. We didn't have an orange. Hold on. Now I'm, I'm getting into where I'm not even trying to be random. 
Let's see. And now you know we're only up to four. So let's try red. Okay. Now I, I'm I'm not even going to use. Probably going to use a little portion of three. Okay. And um, let's see. What colors do we want that we have not used? Let's use a. Okay, when he finishes it. Man, I can't wait to see a peek. My husband is working on reindeer. Oh my gosh. Can't see what you are doing. Maybe move your phone a little. Okay. Y'all may can't see me, but I want you to see what I'm doing. Can you see it now? It's going to be upside down, but once I start gluing it, I'm trying to just uh, figure out. I, I've got, I've decided I want this size of my, and I may even put it down here, but it looks like, you know, to have my tree, I've got to go, the widest I can go is six. So going five, four, three, and then I'm fixing to do two, and what color am I lacking? Maybe a pink. Okay. And I'm going to cut the stems off of there. So there we go. So it's really going to fit on here perfect. But I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to bring it down and put them and use my bottom edge as kind of like my little guideline because I want to have room enough on the top for my bow, I want to put one of those little messy bows up top, yellow and red. Red, you're right. I already did a red on the outside. I'm trying to think what color didn't I do on the outside. I didn't do a green on the outside. I'm trying to be random here without being obvious. Okay. And I do not have a red. Kind of on that side. Maybe I could end with a red and then put a bow on top of it. Yeah. Okay. Look at y'all. Y'all are so smart. That's why I craft with y'all every night. Oh, that's why I love you. Because y'all help me out. You keep me straight. And you don't abandon me when my phone dies twice. <laughs> y'all went back and named the lives from that turkey. Table Turkey 1, Part 2, Part 3. So, anybody wanted to watch it, they would know we at least finished up with it. Um, with the numbers. Okay. Alright, let's see. So, now I'm not going to worry about them rolling around. I'm just going to be smart and put them over here. How about that? Because I really like that color palette pattern y'all helped me with and and remember I mean I I really do think even though I love these little colors I think they're so cute if you have a lot of these old bulbs if you see them at a yard sale or something or if you just have some that have went out don't throw them in the trash can and you can even paint them, spray paint them, if you want them, the colors on them. Because, you know, they're going to be that see-through glass because they're Christmas ornaments. I mean, Christmas lights. If you want them to be this vibrant in color, get your some spray, spray paint. And, and, and spray paint on whatever color you want them to be. Because I really think, you know how I am about white and neutral colors? Like, if you spray painted them all white and you have like a burlap background or something, would be completely awesome. Maybe if I find all the ones that mama gave me that she didn't want anymore, that's what I'll do to it. I'll um, spray paint in white and do one like that. Because I would love to do a real pretty one, like over your mantelpiece or something, it would be beautiful. Perfect. Uh, that's better, thank you. Uh, you could put a yellow one at the very top, going with the opposite way to represent a star. Yeah. Y'all are so smart. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better. I, I, I never really, you know, Oh, I'm so sick. I just, my sin the sinus pressure, I had a headache. And thank goodness every time I take si Tylenol sinus, 
it goes away it just kind of comes back but it's just the pressure from it usually it, i just kind of have a sore throat then by the end of the day i'm fine and they drain in the middle of the night and i just really have a sore throat for a few few weeks <laughs> every spring and summer it'll do it to me in the spring too when it goes when it starts warming up during the day but it's still cold all the time it just i think it's just a being old thing because it didn't do it to me when i was younger all right so like i said i'm going to use my bottom is kind of my guide i'm really scared i'm gonna get these off center or something so i want to put And the way they are, you, I think if you had the real ones, like the real light bulbs, we'll kind of put them at a slight angle so they'll angle up. So this one's not completely straight up and down. I don't think. Yes. Okay. I think you actually could just glue where the top of your bulb would be because a real light bulb is going to be extremely light. These, like I said, they, they have a little weight to them. This one right here. I don't think I need to re be putting this gap in between them that I am, but that's what's looking like happening. So this one's going to kind of have to hang off the side just a little bit. It's not bad. All right. All righty. Now, first row. And it looks like I did not do it perfect, y'all. I'm a little closer to this side but hopefully it'll all be so pretty you won't be able to see that I'm about two millimeters off. <laughs> okay so I'm going to kind of wedge this one in there right there let me start off in the center that would be smart and go out I'm going to actually put the trunk underneath it. Um, so I don't think I just all of a sudden. I could, I, that's kind of really what I wanted to do. But then when I started doing it, I said, well, maybe it would like be way up here. And I'd have to put like half on, half off. But in order, I really want to put a cute little bow up there. I think that's going to have to be. And that way, using these little ones that cut in half, it's like it'll be on the bottom. Um, and instead of, yeah, well, and let's see if we, if it even needs one, you know, it, they don't always have to have one, right? Maybe I can do something a little different. Okay. Now I'm going to start off one way. Yeah, so if you do go and you like this, you are going to have to buy three because you need two and a half for this little project. But you could always make a smaller tree, say, and you could, instead of starting off with six, maybe just start off with five and you end up only needing two packs. I don't really, I can, can't think with the math right now. I'll count it if, when I get to, yeah, because if you just started off with five, you would need six, so that would be a whole pack. You need exactly two packs to do, right? I don't know. Hold on, let me count it when I get to the end. Evidently, I don't know how to count. All right, I think I'm putting those too close. Let me pull that up. Yeah. Mm. 
at home and that one don't look like yours. Do you have room for the trunk? I want that glue gun. I'm telling you, girl, this glue gun is the best. Today, I was actually on Amazon looking for, I want a pen, pen nail gun. The one that goes, it goes like across the boards really fast. Or if like, I wanted to put this on something, but I don't need a nail that long. Just something that does a little tiny nail. Um, they were more expensive than the, the ones that will put big nails in something. I was just surprised. Hold on, I'm having malfunctions with this one. I think I didn't do the smart thing. Okay, once again, I got to take this off and I have made this one loose. Okay, hold on. I need to start from the center and work your way out. I learned that on the second row, but I don't know why I'm forgetting it on the third. Hold on, let me make this one a little bit stronger. Okay. All right, I had my pink one. Because this one, I only have four. So, I barely have the little thing coming right there, so. There we go. It'll be easier if I put the glue on the board, yeah. Okay, put the put the ones in the center each time. You know, usually I only make one of these, so we have to learn together. I went to Home Depot to get that glue gun. They didn't have any in stock. I had to order it and have it shipped. Um, okay, well, I know you've already did that, but for anybody else, they're like $29 and whatever change. 20, 30 bucks in Lowe's. Lowe's owns Ryobi. They bought Ryobi. So if you, you go on Amazon, it is the same price, like $29 and some change. And they're at Lowe's, not Lowe's, Home Depot. Home Depot brought, bought Ryobi. So no matter if you buy it in Home Depot or you buy it if you want to support them, and you buy it on Amazon, they're still getting their money for it because they own it. So um, you can, if you go to your local Home Depot, they do not have it at Lowe's, go to Home Depot and get this, and they don't have it, just the gun. And when I say that, it's going to look just like this. Just the gun is like $29 and some change. Let me explain this. Okay. When you go on Amazon, it's just like anything else. You can buy combinations. They had like a battery, the glue gun, and the charger for like $150 or something like that. It was crazy on Amazon. But if you bought the gun by itself for $30, then you bought two batteries, just two batteries, um, it was like $20 something. So now I'm up to $70. And then um, the charger is what's so expensive. The charger was $40. I have no idea why it's so expensive, but the charger is $40. So if you, me buying everything separate on Amazon, I, you know, I only pay, you know, right at $100, $110 for it. Where, like I said, if you buy them all together with just one battery, it's like this ridiculous price. So, if you can't find, if they're out of them at your Home Depot, just go on Amazon and they'll send it right to you, your house. And I got my two batteries on there. Now, little did I know, stupid, I was thinking I bought two batteries. I had to actually go to Home Depot to buy my charger, but it was the same price. I just wanted the charger that day after I got the gun. I was like, I'm going right now, I want this gun. So, and the lady told me, um, that works at Home Depot is that all these batteries, there are some thicker batteries that have longer shit life, you know, when you're using them, they're bigger, but they all, she said all of their batteries fit all of their guns. So that's why I said, well, I've already got two batteries. I wanted to look and see what a pin nail 
nailer, the little, you know, it's like, dude, it's like a gun. So awesome. But it was like $130, and that's with no battery, which I wasn't worried about the batteries of the charger, because according to her, I can use the two batteries I have. So I think that maybe what I asked my husband I want for Christmas is the little nail gunner thing, because y'all, I love power tools, so, you know, that's like a really good gift for me. <laughs> I wish if the 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 regular like just one that shoots nails like any size nail I want I could build a house with it was cheaper if I could put the penny nails in there I would have gotten that one but you can't so all right now we're getting a little tight right here so I think I'm gonna have to kind of do that up at an angle right here. When you get here, I'm having to put these kind of up. So I'm sure I'm probably going to have to do that with these next two. But I'm telling y'all, I even watched like this huge infomercial today where they were putting some kind of little swag together showing you how easy it is. It's like a QVC infomercial type thing. And both the crafters have one of these. And I was, you know, I wanted to say yeah, I know because they're like the baddest guns ever. They really are. I mean, and, and and not that I'm thinking like Roby is like a great product. Now, I'm not saying that. I mean, they are for being the only one that has come up with this so far yet, yes. But just the fact that it's cordless. I mean, I guess I never really thought about, you know, when, if you want to go outside, if something on your wreath or something outside just needs it real quick, how when you just walk outside and it's, you know, because before you would either have to pull your cord all the way outside or you'd have to like leave your glue gun plugged up and run outside and fix it and then run inside. Ah, thank you for all those hearts. Um, I got the three together for 128. Good job. I love tools at Session Hall Tools. Does your glue gun leak? No. Now, I'll tell you when I first turn it on, I'll notice, you know, I'll have like a few, um, uh, like drops or whatever. I've had glue guns before that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, you got like a puddle underneath it. This one does not do it. Now, it is new. I've only had it, you know, I use it every night, but I've only had it for a few months. I noticed when I first turn it on, it will have a few drops come out of it. But I don't know if that's because when I'm sitting here and it goes dead and I'm pulling the trigger and maybe putting pressure on it. And then I switch out batteries and it it continues to heat up. And because I put that original pressure, did it leak? But no, I have watched and I've watched crafters with their glue guns. You know, they'll just do it over like that and it'll just drip out. This one doesn't do that. You see, it does have like a slight little drip, just tiny, tiny, tiny on the end. Wish you could see it a little, but you know, not enough that I have to worry about putting it under anything. It really has been good. And considering I use it every night, it still looks like it's in really good shape. You know how sometimes your glue gun just gets glue all over this and it just looks like it's been through a battle zone? This one for me to have used it every night really doesn't look, you know, gross. I mean, I've touched it with stuff. I've even touched my finger right here, this little blister I've got on my finger and it it's really been okay. It's been, if you're like a serious crafter and you craft a lot, it's good. Now, if you don't craft that much, keep your little, I mean, I, I crafted for years and didn't craft a lot with like, say a little dollar store gun, you know, sometimes I'd have one at work and leave one here. They're fine. But if you do a lot of it, it just, it really has been awesome. And I bought it off of Amazon, but you can buy it at Home Depot owns it. You can't go to Lowe's and buy it. Have to go to Home Depot. And I learned that the hard way. The day I went to go get my charger, I was thinking it was Lowe's instead of Home Depot. I went there and he, she said, no, we don't sell Ryobi, Home Depot does. And then the lady at Home Depot told me that they own Ryobi, that they bought it. So, okay, y'all, here we go. So, 
I love the colors. I would give anything to be able to carry this board right now into Hobby Lobby and find like the perfect ribbon to go with it that had this pink. The greens I have, I, you know what I did not notice, I didn't have any ribbon with like the more, I have the more classic green and this is kind of that, it's a little bit on the uh, lime green side, but I loved all these colors. Um, I had a ribbon that was a little close to them, but the more colors I tried to put in it, I thought it would just take, take away from how pretty just these colors are by themselves. I own a little girls, um, you know, a new little baby nursery or whatever. I love these colors. So what I did was it did have red, so I did take out a Merry Christmas, like just a little ribbon I have. This good old polka dot ribbon from um, the Dollar Tree. And for what I understand, because they don't keep this in the holiday ribbon, they keep it back in their craft and floral um, section. And it comes in black polka dot with the stripes and the chevron. It comes in um, a blue, which I haven't seen the blue lately, and red and black. I think this is something they will keep all the time. And I suggest you keep just about every color um, because they have went so well with other things. They're good filler. They have wire. It's just, I mean, it's a good ribbon. And you get a lot of it for a dollar. And I'll tell you this, what I really wanted to do if I had time was I would go get one of my little, um, this is a fairly, this is like the medium size one. Um, but if you went like the smallest little dabber that goes with this, y'all found this under my couch. It looks like it's got cat hair all over it. Um, you could go back with a color. And I really thought about going and putting this pink in, in this color like but just remember that from any further projects the white would be like the perfect color you could make it I could make it multicolor and put all these colors in here remember we had did that whole live on painting burlap burlap is like the perfect thing if you want to make your own you know different color pattern burlap that would be really good to go back and do Oh, and that reminds me something, y'all. I found, <clears throat> I can't, and there's so much stuff pulling up. I don't know about yours, but you know, our little craft section in the Dollar Tree, ours is getting a little better. I mean, I, every time I go in there, I notice like maybe there's something that I've seen on other channels that they actually have on the shelf. But the daubers like this, that you can go into Walmart, um, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any craft store, and you get them, and they're three sizes. This is the three-fourths, then you have an inch, and then you have a half inch. And the packets at Walmart, I believe, have two of each. Um, the Dollar Tree now has a package of these, y'all, and their biggest one is about this big around. I don't know what the measurement on it, but you get three in the package. But, um, like, this would be considered the small one. So, I don't know if the biggest one is like an inch and a half or two inches, but it is, it's a big circle. I was surprised when I picked it up how big it was. Now, I have not used them to know how good quality the sponge is, but it would make a, you know, good circle if you didn't have to draw it. Okay, we're getting back. Quit running my mouth. Um, on my ribbons. I just picked up neutrals. Like, I have this white. I did get the one that had a little bit of red in it. But that's the reason why I didn't do this pink polka dot. I didn't have time, and I didn't know if that would just really clash with this red. I mean, we have red and pink in here, but I didn't want to go too far out there. Um, so I'm going to make what y'all told me is called a messy bow. And let's see about how big we want it. This will be our biggest piece. And remember, you just if you can make an X, you can make a messy bow. We're just gonna make an X. Let's let's see. Let's actually do it right. And I most of the time like to leave my ends like this when you make it, but you can dovetail them. You can really do anything you want to the end of them. But sometimes I just like to leave them like this. It makes it look a little bit fuller too. All right, so we'll do this one next. 
Um, you can go ahead and determine what size you want these right now. Like you, if you want this one to be a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and do it now. Or you can do a lot of trimming when you finish. But um, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it right now. This is just maybe a fourth of an inch shorter on each one. All right, let's do just, I'm just got, grab this white for a filler. I noticed not too long ago that I just didn't have any just white um, ribbon. Just, you know, with Christmas coming up, I won't do any kind of snowman thing. Just as a filler, I just, you know, the I had up a white, but it's uh, closer to me to an off-white. And then we'll do our little Christmas one. And this has a little bit of red in it. It says Merry Christmas. Cute little ribbon. I got at Walmart, I believe. They had a, a stack of like five little ribbons you bought all together or six little ribbons like that. And I'm really bad about not picking up little ribbon and so I said let me pick up some of this at Christmas mm, let's just get a piece of twine but you know let's add a little twine in it that would be pretty I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two of that in it And y'all, you can put burlap pieces in this and these little messy bows. You can really uh, switch up all your uh, little materials. You can put rag pieces of, um, like if you rag material looks really good in here, you can use only rag material. So what I'm going to do is just I'm keeping one of my thumbs in the center and I'm just going to kind of accordion gather it where I can pinch it pretty good and then I'm gonna just tie it with this. You can use a pipe cleaner, zip tie. I always hear people saying, use zip ties because they don't break and then on one of my lives, I don't know what we were doing, but trust me, I showed y'all one and it broke and I'm not that strong, so. <laughs> Let's see. Gosh, I hate Georgia laws. Ugh. That means my my baby graduated from there, my oldest. That means she'll be all depressed, too. All right. So, here we go. And it's mainly just white. And uh, you can pull these pieces apart to see all of your... Um, the different ribbons. It just makes it a little bit fuller. Let's cut some of those little... And a little Merry Christmas is bent where it was starting on the spool. But like I said, you can dovetail them a little bit if you want to. That's up to you. I like it like this. I mean, my logic is like just th that square, you know. <clears throat> but listen, I've got a multi pattern too here. I mean, like you can, like I said, I, if I find all my white, I think maybe I may spray paint them white and do it a lot bigger. But you could just alternate them white and, and red and do like a candy cane one would be really, really pretty. But we're going to put this on top and we'll have us a little tree. All right, so, and you'll see my battery is dying. I turned it on probably maybe right at about 7.15, so whatever time it is. And it's from like the night before, so you can kind of gauge on how long the batteries last. They really, I think they usually give me maybe an hour and a half, a couple of hours. So, I mean, they really do last a long time. And see that it has a light on the side, and when I see that light go off, but it's and it gets really, really hot. Now, these get a lot hotter than your normal um, glue gun. So, like, even though it, it turned off, it's still really hot right now. So, I can continue using it. 
Okay, I'm gonna go this way with my bow, so my Merry Christmas on my ribbon is kind of going down, and if you wanna read that, it's right there. I'm gonna kind of put it a little bit above that um, last bulb so you can see it won't, the ribbon won't cover them up. But putting a star on top of this um, would be fine too. I mean, you could just pick a color on what you wanted to do. All right, let me let this dry. Sometimes fabric takes a little bit longer. And I really like the little jute in there too. Just gives that extra little farmhouse look. Hey, and does any of y'all live where they actually have birch trees? <laughs> Please send me one. I, I need to find me like one I can plant out in my yard. Ah, oh, thank y'all for the hearts. Thank you. Uh, that is so pretty. That's cute, Jane. You, are, you ain't kidding. Okay. All right, I don't know what y'all ain't kidding about. All right. So I think that just turned out awesome cute. Y'all, I'm wondering if... I love these little half things, but I'm thinking... I think that would stand up like if I did it as a I still think it's too top heavy for me to try to um, make it stand up it feels like it holds this stuff together but I'm so excited. So, like, can you imagine you have one of these trees in your yard? Okay. I'll put one of these together. I think maybe I could, I got a little place I could wedge. It's just top heavy because, I, like I said, these bulbs, whatever they're made out of, it almost feels like some kind of resin. They are not. A uh, light. Let's see. All right, y'all. I'm not really sure about this, but I'll show you what I'm thinking. I only have a slight little room, and I guess I could put a jingle block in the middle. Now, whatever this crap is, this felt that they got holding them on. That's gonna be a problem. Ugh, why'd they do that? I know they could store them good, but that's aggravating. I've been looking for these all the time, and I found them in the Christmas section. And the girl that was, and there was a lot of them in the Christmas station. And the, even the girl that worked at Hobby Lobby said, I don't know why they're over here because we carry them all the time. Because I could never find them in our Hobby Lobby or the one I go to. You know, back in like the little woodworking section. So... but sometimes I'll, I can get people that, okay. And then maybe grab it, my good old Jenga blocks. I still think it would be, it's gonna be not something that would be really, ah, no! Ooh, the little paint come off of this. Maybe you have to like hit the paint off. Hold on y'all, I'm having yeah, I think regular, these regular light bulbs will be super, super easy because they're light. Like I said, these are heavy. All right, so if I put this on here. Um, let me see if I can use a jingle block. I'm thinking, love, love, love it. I don't have that tree, but my friend does. No trunk. No trunk. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Turned out a bulb. I love those colors. That's what I'm kind of thinking. You know, does it have to have one? Because instead of doing that, y'all are so smart. I'm listening to y'all. Not every tree has to have a trunk. I mean, if you had a paint on one. Okay. Let me tie these up on it. Maybe I can put a cute little hanger on it. I have just my white beads out. I have, I have just the jute that came on the board itself. Still have that. Like so. 
y'all. I'm all I'm all about some big ornaments. <laughs> I know y'all gonna laugh. Big ornaments on a tree, ornaments especially that you can set on the branches, because I like a live tree. Like my main tree is gonna be a live tree. So I love ornaments that I can set back in the tree because sometimes, you know, the branches just won't hold up a big ornament. But I think this would even be really pretty in a tree itself. I'm not sure I like the trunk. Thank you, Sherry. Turned out adorable. Love those colors together. I do. I, and I did not pick them. They came. $1.98. Like I said, they say on here mini ornaments. If you go in your mini ornament section, and the only thing I can tell you is where, if you can't find it, ask somebody where the, the little trees are. Because this year, they have sparkling little pink trees. They, they have trees all colors. Um, and uh, right above that in our Walmart, it's just like a, a, just all these little tiny ornaments. They have a little tiny, uh, what do you call it? Uh, tobacco basket theirs are plastic I hate that but maybe and they're white so maybe I can paint it because I did get like three or four of them there for two two or three bucks and make them look like they're real bad but the ones at Hobby Lobby they're a little bit bigger maybe this size and they are like we real like a wicker type basket but they're only a dollar ninety eight for six of them and it gives you six different colors but like I said I mean they're not light um, but I really think it turned out cute. So I'm thinking I have this. I did grab these. I wasn't sure if we like maybe you wanted to make a hanger. I think I'm just going to put the jute on it. But I wanted to give you this look too. Oh, and if you painted the... um. Like if you really wanted to do a little hanger or nowadays some people are just doing like hangers like this. Oh, for an ornament with the polka dotted ribbon. Okay, that's where we're going there. Let's do that. I really like that. And what I'm going to do is actually use it for a an ornament on my tree. Because see, like this just goes really well from the polka dots. And I don't think it takes away from this at all. Okay, so we're going to do that. I wish I could use this big jute, but you can't get these beads on something that big. All right, now I think this is... Let me tie this up so it won't come undone. I think I didn't do it long enough, but maybe I got lucky. No. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick a little hot glue on it. Because that is another convenient thing about buying these at Walmart. Is this already on a string? I mean, they're kind of easy to store instead of having to put them in a bin. Because I have mine all in the same bin together, whatever size. So let's put these on here real quick. And usually, y'all, when I go to make something like this, just a little helpful tip, and this is just from one crafter to the other because I have made a mistake. Um, I don't ever cut my string until I know how long I want it. Don't ever say, okay, we think we're going to need this long because that way you don't waste it cutting too much string. And it's nothing like getting all these beads on a piece of jute and it is just really being too short because you're gonna sit there and try to make it work and aggravate yourself to death and then it may not look as cute so just when you put them on here just just put them on the piece of jute and then kind of decide on how long you need it once you have them all on there <laughs> And that's what obviously what I did last time. I put a little glue on here so they wouldn't come undone. And y'all think this is such a pretty color. And I think I have a fall wreath. It's just like a, a brown. I mean, it's so pretty. And I haven't used it one time, but I have some of those maple leaves left that we made the turkey with the other day. And we're going to just make some almost... 
maple leaves with different colors, different painting techniques on them with a bunch of these different bows. And you can put them different places in your house. You know, you're getting ready for Thanksgiving. The only thing I can think so, so far left to do that you probably haven't already done is tablescape things for your Thanksgiving. So I really want to do those maple leaves. I've got like three or four of them left. And that way, we could do some little barn and make them different places to hang different stuff. And maybe when I see all my family at Thanksgiving, I can give them one or something. Jude, love the Jude on that piece, Frozen. What does Frozen mean? So, really, it turned out, let's see, I used two, four dollars and a half, so five, so, and then whatever my little board was, so maybe like just six bucks, and you know if you went somewhere, and I wish I could tell you how heavy these things are, it really is a nice little project. I think, you know, if you had the real ones, it, it, would, it would be a lot, lot lighter we could have put stems on Lord, i could have made it sit up and do anything i wanted to but these things just i don't know if you can hear them <laughs> so i got one and a half left so i'll try to see if okay and i was going to count if you wanted to just do you only need 15 if you do 15, so you still need two and a half packs. No, 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 y'all. I use three. I'm sorry. I use three and a half packs. So six, seven, eight, nine. So, you know, about a nine. But if you could just find these, you know, in your, go in your closet, you know, or if you've started using them, or especially if you have any of your friends, ask them if they have any extra ones to put them to the side for you because when they're spent and they're blown that's the ones you want you don't care so um they sell these boards at walmart i have went back there and looked at some of the uh boards um and i maybe i did but i don't think so i think i got this particular one because i was back in the wooden section looking at their um little discs but they do sell them at Walmart. I've seen Walmart, they're a little bit wider than this and they have like the sculpted edges or the corners. Um, but yes, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna tie this as tight as I can get it. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do first. I like it when these beads stay tight and sometimes your jute stretches. So I really like to put just a little bit of hot glue right there where it is and give it just a second to dry and then it won't go anywhere because this jute sometimes especially if you hang something that's heavy it kind of stretches and you and it um I, I hate that i hate when the when it stretches and you have like a little gap in your beads I hate that so before I do anything to it, I'm going to put a little glue on it. I'm going to put a knot on it. And then I'm going to push it. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I only use three and a half. So I guess if you, you would only need three if you did, you know, just a smaller tree. Oh, and they're just under three dollars i'll have to look i rarely look back there in their section because sometimes they'll have like the best little deals and then one day i was looking and something was like ten dollars for i mean in walmart oh, i think i was looking at the little piece of sheet metal and I, it was just ridiculous the price was just way too high okay so that's fairly tight i don't have any and then now I'm going to tie a little, I'm just going to tie a basic knot. 
because this is what's going to be behind. I'm going to glue behind. But I'm going to leave my little tails on here. And I'm just going to put it right in the center. Ow, darn it, I did it again. Not watching where my glue is. This is where I told you I like to put a Jenga block over it just to give it some of that little bit of added security. I'm just going to put this Jenga block over it just to give it something else to grab onto. And you could put it closer to the top if you wanted to. But I don't want you to see it. Pretty heavy. I'm going to put too long. Okay. Let that harden up just a little bit. All right, I bought two for just under three dollars. Don't burn on your fingerprints. <laughs> no. Listen, I'm telling you, look at this one right here. It's like this big blister. It doesn't hurt anymore, but it hurt forever the other night. And my phone was dying, and it wouldn't charge. And then it went to my bedroom and put it, and it charged just fine. It's I don't know if it's just a combination. And y'all, I'm going to use this as an ornament. I love it. I think it's really pretty. Even if I were to put it on one of my little tiny ones, I just think it's really, really pretty. So, if y'all like it, give me some hearts and please sprinkle or share. And uh, I won't see y'all until Monday night. Um, if by chance I do a little crafting and like tonight I get the house all to myself tomorrow, which I don't think that's going to happen then I may get on and hopefully I'll be like showered and look decent and not have a t-shirt and shorts on. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a re the rest of your weekend good. All right, bye.